GT4 Racing. Warming up those tires. I'm in the Camaro GT4 R. <coughs> First time trying the GT4 cars. Uh, the DLC released today. I'm excited to put some hours behind this. I'm going to try it in VR next. Tires are warming up pretty good. Gotta get those brakes warmed up. That uh, once we start to race that first corner, that's when you're gonna use your brakes a lot. So. Definitely got to got to get my uh, brakes warmed up. I like mashing my brakes and gas at the same time. So far, the Camaro feels good. Feels tight. Again, these cars have a lot of weight on them compared to the GT3 cars. I mean, the GT3 cars have just so much downforce. They're so light and so powerful uh, versus the GT4 cars are more stock related. Hope we don't get any micro stutters starting off. We'll have a grid of about 18 cars, 19 cars. Once we get past this corner, uh, we're going to start. It's a good clean race. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. I'm going to hang back a little bit. Remember, I told you about the uh, cold brake starting off. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. 
Car on the right. Clear on the right. Car okay. on the left. Clear I gained the, the place there. I'll just follow behind this McLaren. Car, car feels good so far. Tires almost optimal. Uh, I heard this KTM is uh, pretty quick, but a beast to handle. Uh, come on, baby. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna be too aggressive yet. Though I do want to see what this Camaro can do. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Come on, baby. Get it up to speed. I will be racing in VR here um, shortly. I want to test this puppy out in VR. Had a lot of Understeer on that last corner. I'm sure I can tweak the setup, the suspension setup. Again, this is a straight stock. First time racing with the GT4 car, so. Car seems kind of flat, which is good. I know it, I would have been I would have been spinned out if I was in the GT3 car because uh, it just weighted a little bit too much. I got a penalty there for tapping the guy's bumper, being a little bit too aggressive, but I'm also talking, not paying a lot of attention, so oh well. Car on the right. Car yep. on the right. Let me do a little bit less talking. More concentrating on racing. Again, it's just a quick race, so it, it doesn't amount to anything. Gotta be careful on the throttle right there. The, these cars are a lot more forgiving than the GT3. I know that. It, it's let me get away with a lot more. I think that's because of uh, the heft and the weight that these cars have. Not that they're not that they're heavy. They're not. They're light cars, but they're nowhere near as light as the GT3 cars. out fourth gear there gotta take it smooth on that that exit and the more time and more laps I put into this particular car and the track uh, you're gonna see those lap times go down more and more Behind my good buddy, the Camaro GT4. Oh, 
Oh man, keep your knee safety. Just for barely. Barely, like barely tapping them. I know I'm being super aggressive, but man, come on. Stuff like that, I mean. Mind you, if this is multiplayer, if I was playing against uh, live people, I think that would have. That would have been let go. I mean, they wouldn't have. Clear on the right. Bother. Clear on the right. Try to set him up right here. Take this inside. Ah, it's a little bit too slow. I'll try this. Car on the left. Clear on the left. I'll try to undercut him. Got it. Second place. As usual, BMWs are in front of the pack. The um, GT4s are really, really, really good. The Beamers. The M4s. Well, okay. Let's go They're slightly larger than the M3, body-wise. And I, some people tell me that's what gives it a little bit better control. It's a little bit... Ah! Yep. Spent that guy out. Now I'm going to get penalized for that. Oh, well. My penalty rating is going to look like shit. Oh well. Got about two minutes into this race. Two minutes left. I don't normally play uh, go kart, bumper cars. Next, I'm going to race in VR. I think when I race in VR, that gives you, I mean, without a doubt, that gives you more debt. You can tell how close you are to the cars. I mean, it's literally like being inside the car. So, racing is a lot more intense, uh, more realistic. Your breaking points, you can tell, you know, everything's perfect. You have that, that sense of engagement. Got about uh, 45 right, seconds. This is your last lap. And you want to lead up, keep it last lap. I'm going to go ahead and end this race here. We're going to watch a little replay of the cars and then um then i'll go into vr <coughs> man these cars look beautiful Cars look beautiful. Shigenetti. Your R8, your Mercedes GTS. Your Porsche. Your Maserati, your Aston Martin. Your GT4 Porsche, your BMW. M4 
That Camaro looks beautiful. Beautiful cars. That Camaro there has the Z01 uh, body. It's not a Z01. It's equivalent to a Camaro SS. 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated V8. Roll cage. I mean, that car is close to stock as possible. Obviously, it has some racing bits, racing tires, uh, sound deadening yanked from it some ECU updates but other than that it's close to a stock car weight saving parts um, and maybe that's why I like these cars so much they, they're, they're closer to stock than not I can't wait to see what GT7 has in store. <coughs> Gran Turismo 7. Hopefully this is updated for the PlayStation 5 when it finally comes. Hopefully with VR support as well. Here we go with the helicopter view. side by side man that McLaren looks sweet and these are cars from the 2019 2020 season British GT4 session and here we go. Like getting in the passenger side. Gives you a uh, little bit better view. More immersive. I mean, and that's an accurate presentation of how the car looks on the inside.
It looks amazing. Like I was saying, if I was in the GT3 car, man, that would have been it for me. I would have spent out. Just getting the, getting the feeling of the handling of the car, what I can get away with, what I can't get away with. Uh, I, I did notice the acceleration is a lot slower. That could be because of decreased horsepower, um, a heavier car, less downforce. I don't know. Um, most likely, it's due to weight. But like I said, GT4. I mean, I love GT4 racing. That's uh, you know, I, I like GT3 as well, but man, I just feel like I can dominate in GT4. I, I, I like the class of cars they have in GT4. That's just me. sound awesome as well no complaints there
Well, that's it. I'm going to uh, jump into some VR. I just want to show you a little bit about uh, the GT4 Camaro. Um, it's my first time. Today is the launch day of the GT4 cars. And it's at a course of competition on it. 